Hello and welcome to today's video. So this is a bit of a progress update on the Nissan Leaf battery pack sniffer. Uh, a while back I built one for a customer and I uh, asked if anybody else wanted one and I actually got a few inquiries so I started looking for the uh, connector that mates to this guy. This is the uh, generation 2 Nissan Leaf battery pack connector and um, I can't find it. I, I had the one that came with my battery pack and uh, I didn't, that was the only one I had, so um, what I did is I took this out of the battery pack. It, it was too much trouble to take out the wiring harness because it's like bolted to everything. Uh, it's got a bunch of zip ties, so I cut it out. i not really planning on putting it back in, but out of habit, I, I you always stagger cut anytime you're cutting. You don't just cut it across like this. You always want to stagger cut it, and the reason why is if you look, there are a couple wires here that are the same color and so that allows you to be able to make sure that you get it back together the correct way see that so there's no way you could mess those two up you could easily if you just hacked it off you could cross those two wires but if you've stagger cut it and you need to put it back uh, that one will be longer so it makes it really obvious where everything went and yeah, just a helpful hint if you've ever cut things. Don't just cut it like that. Cut each one individually at different lengths. Trust me, it'll save you time for putting it back in. I'm not planning on putting it back in, so that doesn't really matter, but I just had a habit I'd do that. Uh, so anyways, I, I the reason I cut it out of the harness is so I could bring this into work. I brought this in and one of these from a PCs. From a, this has all the little connectors that go onto the motherboard. And... If you just grab any one of these, they happen to fit perfectly on the pins in here. See? Let's zoom in here. There you go. So, see how that... It's, it's close. It's not exactly the right spacing, but it's pretty close. So, with this and this, I told uh, one of our mechanical guys at work, it's like, hey, I need a thing that'll fit in here. And we'll fit these little PC, I don't actually know what these are called. Um, I want to call them C-Grid connectors, but I'm not sure if that's the right name for these. Uh, they might be C-Grid connectors made by Molex. I'm, I'm not sure, I didn't look it up. And um, so they made a, a, a SolidWorks model, which then generated an STL file, which I then took over to the Fab Lab in Urbana after work, and in about 45 minutes this puppy came out and we are truly living in the future because look at this perfect like it's not even loose it's like a perfect fit it just it just boggles my mind that that you can do that i mean that's it's it's amazing <laughs> i'm just i'm thoroughly impressed i'm yeah it's it's pretty cool so it's not perfect though. Um, the the spacing here is is the correct spacing. Like I can go ahead and I can plug in. You can see I can plug in uh, connectors. Uh, that's perfectly fine. So I can press fit those in and then uh, glue them, and that's going to be perfect. Um, the problem is uh, it's got off a little bit. So I'm going to see if I can show this here. If I can get it to refocus. So if I align this up, ooh, no, stay in focus. No, no, you really want to focus on this. There we go. So if you look, this bottom row, the pins are like perfectly in the window there. So yeah, those are perfect. But then as we go to the next row, they go off a little bit. And you can see that pin there is off a little bit more. You can see these pins are off a little bit more. They're no longer in the center. And when we get up here, we're like way off. So, I think what we'll have to do is uh, the spacing in between the connectors was just must have been calculated wrong, and that got replicated across to everything. So, we should be able to measure the distance between that pin and the edge, divide that by half, and then divide it all out, and actually make that. So, I'm going to do uh, another run of this. So, I'll take this and everything into work. I I could probably sand it and make it work, but I actually want to fix it so that I can just slide these in, either super glue or epoxy them. Oh, it's going to be so nice. And then uh, we'll have this little holder 
that uh, holds these guys in place and then I can wire that up to the uh, battery sniffer and uh, yeah I think that'll work really nice so these 3d printers pretty amazing things I uh, next I need to convince my wife that I I need to buy one. <laughs> so wish me luck on that. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm I'm just amazed at how how well this fit is. I mean that's like it's it's like perfect. Uh, yeah, it's so cool. Anyways, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.